Hey party people, Carter here. Have an unboxing for you, but guess what? I cut out the most boring part, me opening the box. So we're gonna skip to the fun part, which is the main box right here. As you can see, it is another zero tolerance knife, probably my last one for a while. And uh, pretty excited about it, guys. Pretty excited about it. You can probably tell already, those of you that uh, are familiar with ZTs probably already know what it is. Let me get this bag open for you and we'll just BAM! Oh yeah, this is the ZT 301 ST serrations, baby. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I uh, I kind of like serrations now. Um, maybe I'll do a separate video on serrations, but uh, I, I really like the way ZT does it at least visually. I don't know how well performance wise it works, but uh, I like the way it looks. And you know, that's an important part of uh, loving knives. Came tip down, I will definitely change that. Serial number 2861. I don't know why I'm bringing that up, but I am. There's the hinder lock stop right there. Titanium slab on this side. Tiger Stripe Blade. I remember uh, I said that I would never do Tiger Stripes on a CT because I've been spoiled with uh, Striders. I take that back. I like ZT's Tiger Stripes. I think what I don't like is some of the product pictures of the Tiger Stripes that are out there. Um, a lot of the pictures you see that are from ZT, you know, like the, the product pictures, not real world pictures. Uh, doesn't make the tiger stripes look all that good. It's really contrasty and makes it look kind of cheap. But when you actually get one, it's done really well. It looks like it's sandblasted just like a strider and not bead blasted. Bead blasting makes it look kind of hokey. Perfectly centered. Ranger green G10. Ah, I love this thing. This is an awesome knife, guys. Seriously, I'm in love with the 300 series. It's like my favorite production knife right now. Love it. The uh, ZT302, I believe, has been discontinued, which is a bummer. You can still find them occasionally, but uh, people are trying to get super prices for it. Uh, once again, the only thing I don't like about it is the stupid lack of a detent hole. Ah, come on. Kershaw, ZT, let's put a detent hole on these things. It's not that hard. It'll take like two seconds before it's heat treated. You do it on the 350. Why don't you do it on this one? And yeah, I did. I checked and there is no detent hole on this. Um, so removing the speed assist is not really an option. Rock solid lockup up and down. Doesn't move. Doesn't budge an inch. This thing is bad ass. Bad man of jamma. So I'm going to switch this to tip up carry. Probably throw it in my pocket. Maybe I'll do a video with this and its brother, the all black version. Love this thing. Lock up, perfect. The speed assist on this is actually uh, pretty good because it's easy to close, not difficult at all. Fires open like a rocket. Got these nice big thumb stops right here uh, that hit steel liner and titanium, so you're not going to get a lot of, uh, you know, the blade isn't really going to wear in and start moving back. So, great system. You can see where it's starting to already kind of make contact there. Oh, yeah. Awesome knife. I know it's uh, not a new knife, but uh, man, seriously, if you guys don't have one of these, it's probably the coolest and best value in uh, kind of overbuilt knives out there, period. Period. Definitely pick one up. All right, guys. I've gone off long enough. I'll talk to you later.